Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion, hosted by iClone3D. I'm Trista Ross and today we're going to be looking at how we can actually clean up paired motion. It can be quite challenging sometimes when you're pairing two different motions where the characters are meant to interact. You'll see there can be quite a few issues in terms of, you know, hands connecting the intended target and, you know, go, hands going through the mesh, etc. You'll see in this clip here, we've got these two wonderful characters and you can see the hands don't actually connect with the waist when we play that back and you can see the hands on the shoulder area are going through the mesh and you know they're sliding instead of sticking in place so we're going to really kind of look at how to clean this up and all we're going to be doing is using a very simple technique known as the reach target where we're going to select the opponent character's target bones and use a little bit of offset to make it perfect so to do that we're just going to come over here into our reach target section and what we're going to do is we're going to select the character's hands and we're going to be aligning this to the female's character's hip bone. So you can see here, all we're going to be doing is selecting the select target and keep current pose. And then we're going to pull the hand closer and just play with the offset a little bit and get that lined up in the correct position. And we do the exact same thing for the other hand and we'll just get that perfectly aligned. And when we play that back, you can now see the hands actually connect to the waist. Um, it looks really, really good. They're not kind of going through the mesh. And we'll just do the exact same thing here for the female character's hands. Uh, this time we're gonna align them to the male character's bone, and we're just gonna offset them and just tweak that and get that in the right position. And you'll see it's not very much work, pretty simple stuff to do just using the select target, keep the current pose, and then play them with the offset just to get them in the right position. Now, when we play that back, you'll see the hands actually connect perfectly with each other. And it just makes for, you know, a much cleaner animation, much more realistic. And, you know, it leaves your audience blown away. So it really is that incredible and that easy to do. And now in this next scene, we're gonna look at how we can actually adjust the offset of the whole character just to kind of get a little bit more alteration between the lovers relation. So we're going to just literally be using the edit motion layer and we're going to do that to just get a bit more kind of alteration, a bit more fluidity and, you know, a bit more natural movement in the motion. So we're just going to come to the animation layer and we'll create a new animation layer here. And in the FK mode, we're going to just pull the character a little bit closer to our subject character here. So you can see all I'm doing is playing with the offsets and you know we're just moving him a little closer. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the weights to actually alternate this emotion. And you'll see how easy it is to do. Um, you know, it really doesn't take much uh, figuring out. So just very quickly, we're gonna turn this animation layer off and on just to show you the difference. And you can see, you know, what it's actually doing here. The character is much closer, but now what we're gonna do is we are gonna actually use the weight key to really adjust that motion. So if you come down here, you can see we've got our weight here. And you know, there's nothing in there at the minute because we haven't actually set any keys, but we're just gonna use this little slider here to adjust. And you can see we're gonna move down in different points of the timeline and we're just gonna pick the right point and we're gonna adjust the weight and you're gonna see how that will slowly work over time. And you know, you can see here, it's really, really effective way of just kind of bringing in the motion slowly and you know, creating a nice buildup of the animation. So all we're doing is using this weight slider to set keys in different points in the timeline, and that will then affect the motion in different ways, as you can see here on the playback. So, you know, there's a lot of swing going on the head and it just really kind of adds to that motion. It really adds a layer and some more depth to the motion. And if we see the before and after, you'll see exactly how far we've come. So you can see here, you know, a lot of issues with the hands sliding and going through the mesh, the hands not connecting to the waist. And we're gonna show you the after and you'll just see exactly how the cleanup really affects that and gets that looking incredible. So, you know, just to kind of summarize what we've looked at, we've used the reach target tool to basically play with the offset and connect the hands to the different meshes of the characters. And then we've used the weight layer to the weight key to actually add some more motion and fine tune the motion using the edit motion layer to, you know, bring the body a little bit closer and then kind of playing around with the weight sliders to 
add in the motion at different points. So I really hope that helps and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.